Hello friends, this video on metal and non-metal part 1 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. What we will study? We will study metals, physical properties of metals, non-metals, physical properties of non-metals, chemical properties of metals, chemical property of non-metals, ionic compounds, extraction of metal from copper. We will also study refining of metals. So the first question that comes to our mind is what is a metal, right? What is a metal? Metals are substances which are electropositive in nature. Electropositive in nature that means they have tendency to lose electron. That means they have extra electron and they want to lose it. So the generally why it is uh, they have tendency is because in the valence electron valence shell they have one extra electron so we'll study all these things in the maybe in the uh, next two chapters where we'll explain the structure of the atom of the elements and how it is stable and what is the property of that so just now you understand that any element which has tendency to lose electron for example sodium has a tendency to lose one electron and becomes Na plus because this is this is more stable this is more stable and this is not stable and we'll explain this maybe in the next uh, two chapters why uh, this is uh, more stable so any element which has tendency to lose electron to become more stable those elements are called metals right all metals except mercury are solid so generally you take any metal gold silver sodium potassium they are all solid except mercury mercury is an exception right so because the primary definition for us for a elementary metal is that it has tendency to lose electron and then we observe that all the metals are solid except mercury at room temperature we are talking about the room temperature actually now the question is why should we study metals that should come to your mind why why should we study metals why are we doing this so the various obvious answer is if you see this all this ornaments jewelry the king crown or your mom's jewelry everything is generally made using metals it may be gold it may be silver right uh, copper but generally these are made of metals the hammer which we use the hammer which we use in our house this also is a metal part why because it has more density will we'll learn all the physical property of metal but now you can understand that this is the hammer this part is also metal the nails which you use it has a critical role you make furniture nails are required nails are very much required so that is also made of metal the wires which are used for fencing is also made of metals the guns which you see in movies the police police people use as guns to protect ourselves they are also made of metals most of the electrical appliances if you see are made of metals the body of the fridge a lot of entry parts are also made of metals if you see the wire which conduct electricity which, uh, which which transmit electricity from some power station to our house these things are also made of metals because metal is a good conductor of electricity we will we'll learn that the trophies and all normally you know they are made of metals the car any automobile maybe bike the bike you ride the cycle all these has metal involved because they need strength and uh, those kind of stuff so they are all in metal if you see most of the car the body is made of metal the watch we use right that is also has metal sometimes it has a metal case even if you take a plastic watch it has some element inside it which is metallic so metal are used in a lot of places so if you see in our day-to-day -day life we do use metals and if you talk about your jewelry if you talk about the car which you use the bike you use the electronic appliance we use the electricity we have the furnitures a lot of places we use metals and that's a good reason why we should study metals because if we are using metals we should know metals right so let's understand a brief history of metals you will surprise to know a lot of stuff the first metal that was discovered was gold and that was very very old in BC almost 6000 BC and that is because gold is non-reactive and it exists in the free form 
and there was a craze for gold it was costly also and there used to be a group of people called alchemists they used to believe that they will find uh, something called philosopher stone which can, which can convert everything to gold and there were a lot of studies done on that but uh, nothing happened and after that they found something similar to gold looks like gold that is copper and then silver because these are generally inert uh, you can say metal they don't react much and then they found lead then tin iron was used in this age and this is what you called iron age right iron age and then mercury was found all these metals were found in the bcs if you see the platinum antony bismuth zinc arsenic and then after that all these metals were found if you see aluminium was found in 1827 very recently so if you see it took so long to find these metals but these were found just because they are not less they are less reactive and then they found all these metals if you see silicon was found in 1823 only and this has a uh, critical you can't say silicon is a metal silicon is neither a metal nor a met, uh, non metal it has a i mean now debate goes on people sometimes some people say it's a metalloid so anyway so what i'm trying to say is that it took time it took time to it to find metals only if you see 6000 or maybe 6000 before uh, bc the only metal known was gold and then they come to know about copper and then they came to know about something called iron 1500 bc they called iron age right and then they came to about zinc zinc and then titanium and then you know if you see boron calcium magnesium all were recently found and aluminum was also recently found so that's how they found the metal is not that one day they found everything it's it's our ancestors who who did research and based on their experiments they found all these metals so the common metals which we use is gold which is silver copper is this kind of color zinc then you have aluminum you must have seen aluminum in your home iron look little blackish then you have sodium then you have magnesium then you have potassium you have calcium then you have cobalt and then nickel so these are the common metals that are used i just took the slide just to make you familiar with the look and feel of the metals gold looks like this a very different look copper is this the silver is this these things we are generally aware but these metals are something we should not much aware so it's better to have a look and feel of these this is sodium right and if you see this is the look and feel of most of the metals so it, it's better that we just have a look at least once so that we can uh visualize the metals when i talk about sodium you can visualize the sodium looks like this when i talk about magnesium you can visualize the magnesium looks like this when i talk about nickel you can visualize something like this right thank you visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos try free online tests get the best quality study materials study from the best tutors and mentors and much more thanks once again